up everyone i'm jamie from three little goats.com and if you're new here welcome to my channel if you've been around for a while welcome back I'm glad to see you as always so we finally got a break in the weather it was actually pretty warm yesterday it was like almost 70 degrees so we are starting to prepare for kidding season xena who is somewhere around here is starting to get a little wide she is due for my estimates probably beginning of February, mid-February, if I've got my timing right. We are keeping a close eye on her just in case my timing's a little bit off. But since it was so warm yesterday, we decided that it was time to split up the girl's pin. That way, when it is time for her to be kind of separated, we can do that easily and don't have to rush. And then this weekend, I'll be making a trip to the store to get some kidding supplies. So if you're interested in what I keep in my kidding kit, say that five times fast. Let me know down in the comments below and I'll do a video on that. But if you've been around for a while, you've seen our goat set up. I'm going to flip you around. And we didn't do anything fancy, just what we had on hand to split this area off. It's We use, I think it's like a 10 by 12 shed that we've used for the goats for a while and it's worked out great. I do need to get some more straw so I can lay down some more straw. But we've got one side over here that is easily accessible for Daisy who is not due to kid until later in February so she'll be able to come in and out through the main gate and then this side will be where Xena will be hanging out with the kiddos when they are born hopefully she has more than one but we just put an extra cattle panel up that we had just separated it straight through the middle and then she'll have all of this area over here I've got to clean it up a little bit better they knocked the food buckets down last night because they are being butt heads today so that is what we've been doing there and then we moved the boys shed it was back there in a part off of the main fenced area but the chickens are jerks and they've been going through there and pushing through the cattle panel to get outside of the fenced area so i've been having to chase them around the property literally chase them around the property to get them to go into their coop at night because for some reason they just do not want to go in the coop at night. I have to force them in. So they're on timeout right now. They're actually locked in the coop today. So I'm going to show you Zena. She's starting to get wide. The boy calls her the fat cow. She's starting to get a little bit uncomfortable. She hasn't bagged up. I checked her ligaments yesterday and they're not even remotely gone. And then I've got my two troublemakers over here. that got out of the yard this morning, but that wasn't their fault. That's a whole nother story, but they came right back. So good for them. So let's check on Zena. Zena, how are you doing Zena girl? Good girl. Hi, serious. Hi. Now I'm going to try to put my tripod down so I can check on her a little bit better. Every time I put my tripod down today where the goats can get it, they've knocked it over and started chewing on it, especially Morty. So hopefully, hopefully they'll leave it alone for five seconds. Zena's feeling a little self-conscious because she's getting a little wider. I don't think she's going to have multiples. I think she's just probably going to have one, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. And then Daisy over here, she's not widening out yet, but she will be in the next few weeks, hopefully. I don't know why you guys are such a pain in the butt today. Can we not eat my shoe? So yeah, anyway, Xena. 
So for the next couple weeks, we'll be checking on her periodically, just making sure she is good to go. If she'll let me check her ligaments. When you're checking their ligaments, you're gonna look at the tailbone and you're going to squeeze together. If you can squeeze and your fingers touch, that means her ligaments are gone and Marty! And they're pretty close to getting probably within the next 24 to 48 hours. She's still got all of her ligaments and Morty is chewing on my thumb and Daisy is chewing on my shoe. Can I have my thumb back? Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, that's where we're at right now. So that is what I have got for you guys today. Make sure if you haven't already hit that subscribe button. I've got a soap video coming out later this week where I completely fail. It's real life. Sometimes things don't work out as planned and I'm going to show you the down and dirty of when things just do not work out as planned. So be sure to subscribe for that. And if you haven't already hit that like button, it really helps our channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.